because it looks like that's where things are headed again for the second week in a row. We've come in off of the cold that we had in the middle of February. Uh, coming soon is a status that allows you to tell other agents in the marketplace you've got something coming on the market and that's up two points to 61. We have new active listings, which is down half a, or a point to 357, which is really nominal. And then option periods has stayed neutral at 357. And that's actually when both the buyer and the seller come to agreement and the contract is then executed. And then pending statuses, those were up 15%. That's kind of that second status after the option period uh, where everybody's really kind of agreed on repairs and we're probably just waiting on final approval from the lender. Uh, solds were up 37% to it's 299 uh, in Dallas County, which is a, a great number to see, especially right now, that because that occurred in the middle of the month. I know. So it definitely shows signs of the spring market are coming through now. Yep. Uh, mortgage rates, we go to Optimal Blue, and the Optimal Blue, Optimal Blue kind of surveys the marketplace across the country, and they're uh, their most common mortgage rate that they found on a 30-year conforming is 6.52%. And I think this is really interesting. So if you go to Optimal Blue and you scroll to the very bottom, you can actually change some of the filters. We were looking at this mm -hmm. this morning with Jeremy. And that allows you to like look at just at conforming loans that are 30-year or 15. You can scrub out uh, the jumbo loans if you want to or FHA loans as well. So you can get a little bit truer. But again, you know, this is one of those things that is just no filters. It's just an aggregation of all loans that were closed in those in the last seven days. Right. And there, there are all these different things that create different pricing models like um, debt to income, mm -hmm. loan to value, credit score. All of those add or subtract points from your interest rate on an individual basis. It used to just be, here was the interest rate, but now it's there's that micro pricing that goes on, which, you know, not, I'm not sure it's a bad thing. Well, it looks like the in January of 2023, the Federal Housing Agency has made some recommendations to take in effect a little bit later on this year. And one of the ones that we thought was a little bit interesting is that the debt to income ratios are not to exceed 40%, mm -hmm. which is a little bit interesting. That's not a big variation um, of what we see today, but yet it is still one of the ways that we're tightening up. And then also there's some changes to what's happening in the FICO, whereas 740 used to be the big, like mm -hmm. hit that number and everything's great. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's changing just a little bit. It looks like there's a couple of other uh, stair steps, plateaus, if you want to call them, after 740 that would also give you breaks in the pricing. That's true. So this, these start in May of 2023. Um, one of the reasons we wanted to bring this up right now is if you are thinking about buying a home, especially if you're thinking about buying a second mm -hmm. home or a vacation home, now is the time to do that. And you know what? And I understand that like this is like tightening things up. But at the end of the day, this is actually making buyers more sound mm -hmm. versus what happened in 2005, 6, and 7 when it was fog a mirror, it was no doc loans. This is one of those things that actually is shoring it up. And I think that that's just a nice, going forward, we're going to be much thankful of that. I think we will. So, yeah. We'll see.